Tips on how understand a literary piece. Method number one, dealing with confusing passage. Number one, keep reading to see if you can figure it out. It's easy to get up on confusing parts of books. Read the paragraphs immediately before and after the passage that you don't understand. If you're still confused, read a few more page forward. Number two, reread the confusing part. Read the passage over at least twice and maybe three or four times. Each time, confuse especially hard on the sentence that are really tripping you up. You may find that this extra level of concentration clears up your confusion. Number 3. Break it down into sections for outlining. Identify the beginning, middle, and end of the passage. Figure out what the overall purpose of the passage is along with each of the sections. Write down this outline on a piece of notebook paper. Number 4. Look up things you don't understand. You may be confused because there's a word or reference confused you don't recognize. Use a dictionary, the internet, or even the local library to check on the thoughts. This may quickly help you understand what you just read. Number 5. Finish the book and come back to the confusing spot. Don't let the confusing passage keep you from finishing the book. Make your best guess about what's going in the passage and read on. You can only really understand the book if you read it from start to finish. Method number two, setting yourself up for success while reading. We have five tips, which is number one, find a good spot for reading. Avoiding distraction will help you stay focused on your book. Choose some place away from the TV. Turn your phone in silence and set it slightly away from you. Number 2. Make sure you're in the right frame of mind to focus. Sometimes it may be hard to get into a book even if you have a comfy spot, good lighting, and no distractions. If there are any immediate time, concentrate, consider putting down the book and coming back to it at a later time. Try to choose a more relaxing time to revisit the book. Number 3. Read the books slowly but steadily. Take the time to process what you read. Try to set aside at least 20 minutes and up to an hour day for reading. Don't skip too many days without returning to the books as you may forget what you read. Number 4. Take good notes while you read. Keep a notebook next to you while you read. Use several different pieces of paper to keep track of main characters or by terms, major plot points, big pictures, questions, and things you confuse. You can refer to these notes later to remember what the book was about. Number 5. Check your knowledge what has happened before moving on to a new section. When you get to the end of a chapter or, or section of a book, stop and ask yourself if you understand the major themes and events. Method number 3. Digging deeper into the books. We have three tips which is number one is to find information about when the books was written. Understanding why the book was written may help you with comprehension as you read. Number two, consider the purpose of the book. Pay attention to the key lesson depending on the overall point of the book. Number three, write a summary or analysis of the book. Even if you're not reading the book for a class assignment, consider writing something down about the book once you finish it. 